guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley, if you haven't been here before, and if you're joining me for the first time today, welcome. I'm super excited to have you. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a what is in my bag. I thought it would be fun to show you guys what I carry around with me on the daily. Now, I love watching these videos on YouTube and like watching other people's channels, see what they carry around. I feel like I get to know them a little bit more, so maybe this will help you get to know me a little bit more. This is just what I carry around with me pretty much 24 seven. I mean, it can totally change, but I literally grabbed my bag and I'm gonna show you what is currently in my bag. Now, before we get on into what I show you is in my bag, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe also. I post a new video every week, so go ahead and click the bell to get... Not the thumbs up again. <laughs> go ahead and click the bell to get notified when those go live. Now, let's actually get on into it. Right now, I'm carrying the tote bag by Marc Jacobs. This is like one of the greatest everyday bags. It's not leather or anything fancy, so it's not really that expensive. I mean, it's, def it's still like a designer bag, but it's very durable. And so far, I've been carrying it for a few months now. I really, really enjoy this bag. I'm not like a super small bag kind of person. I usually carry something about this size. I'm more of like a large messenger and I love for my bags to have a crossbody strap, which is just, if you don't necessarily know the terminology, this is going to be the crossbody strap because you can wear it across your body. So people will call it like a messenger or a crossbody and it basically just kind of sits on my hip like this. So you get the gist. I love for my bags to have a crossbody strap so that way I can be hands-free if I want to. And I also really enjoy when my bags have like a little top handle because when I'm getting into the car, if I do have a crossbody strap, I usually wear my bags pretty low on my hip. So I like to be able to, as I'm getting into my car, kind of grab the handle and like throw it to the other seat. That's just like one thing that I really enjoy about a bag, I guess. Like when I pick it out, I look for a bag with a top handle, even if it's just like a small one like obviously this one I don't necessarily carry around on my arm like this all the time but I like to have the option to just kind of like grab it and go versus like wearing it super long on my shoulder again this is my bag the tote bag now I'm finally gonna go ahead and show you guys what is actually in here again I'm definitely a large bag person which means I carry a ton of stuff with me majority of the stuff that I carry with me I probably don't even need to carry with me but I'm always the type of person that's like, well, if this happens, then I'll have it. Or if this happens, then I'll have it. So like, whatever. I'm like, worst case scenario, always in my bag. But let me go ahead and finally show you guys what I actually have in here. You might be surprised at some of the stuff I have in here. I don't know. I don't even, I honestly don't even really know what's in here right now. So I might be surprised with you guys. The first thing that I'm seeing here is my little planner. This is my 2021 planner, which I actually have to get like a new one because this one ends in June and yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new one soon. I am always the type of person that carries a small planner with me. I really enjoy writing out my schedule and like seeing it all on paper. I know that I literally carry one with me everywhere I go on my phone, but it's just not the same. I like to visually write it out and I feel like when I write it down, I remember it better. Like that is always how I've studied and everything. So learning for me is easier and I just like to write it on paper. Like I am just super traditional when it comes to that. I will also put it in my phone because I don't always have this with me, but I do like to have it on paper. So this is my little mini planner, which I'm gonna have to say goodbye to. I feel like I always get super attached to my planners. Like I don't wanna say goodbye. We've been through so much together, but yeah. So this is my just little planner in here. The next thing that I have are these Sarasa fine felt tip writing and journaling pens. I honestly don't know why I have these in here right now. I use these for like my Bible journaling and stuff like that, but I don't know why I have them in my purse. Honestly beats me. But I use these for my Bible journaling and I picked them up at Walgreens. Oh, shut up. This is so cool. Wait, I just, I just realized. Convenient easel back packaging. Wait, you're kidding, right? No way. There is no way that I just figured this out. Wait, but how though? That's so cool. <laughs> 
Okay, well, I learned something new. That's actually pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. I did not know that about this package, but okay, even better. That's cool. I don't, again, don't know why those are in my bag. A few more things that are in here because I have got a lot of junk. This is a notebook I just recently picked up from the dollar store, so I literally have only filled in the first page. My little sister, Hannah, which you guys have seen in previous videos, and if you haven't, you should check out my last video that I posted, which is me getting her and my other little sister ready for prom. They looked beautiful, but Hannah was telling me about a book that she was reading that I'm gonna end up reading when she's done. Um, if you guys have read it, maybe you'll know about this concept or not. It's called How to Steal Like an Artist, and one of the tips that's in there is that you should always have like a little notebook with you wherever you go, so whenever you find inspiration, you can write it down, or if you have an idea, you can write it down. So I was like, that's actually a really good idea, and I always like to have a notebook with me just because I'm always writing down notes. You guys saw I have my planner that I, I just love a physical note. There's something about it to me that like I can go back and look through my progress over the years or like months or weeks and just kind of look back and be like oh so that's where that idea stemmed from or like to see how an idea grows into something bigger or maybe you don't even go through with that idea you forget about it and then you go back to it later on so I really liked that concept and I ended up buying this from the dollar store which is actually pretty thick it has a good amount of pages 180 sheets actually and it's just like a little mini notebook that you can keep with you and then just when inspiration strikes, you can write in it and you have all of your notes with you. So I thought that was really cute and I ended up picking this up from the dollar store. The next thing that I have, I just found is my little wallet here. So I have two different wallets that I kind of like swap out. Like I go back and forth from. One is like a longer traditional zipped around wallet and then this little guy here I found at Target for like eight bucks. It's just like a card holder, honestly. There's really no room for change or anything, but I like it because it's mini, it's compact. I can put it in a big purse and I can put it in a small purse, but yeah. So I just have this little snap wallet that I found at Target. The next thing that I have that I always try to carry around with me are not actually in the case. That's terrible. I try to put them back in the case always, but sometimes if I'm just in a rush, I take them off my head and throw them like in my bag. So this is the little leather case that it came with, but these are my Ray-Bans. These are like the only pair of sunglasses that I wear now because I used to be like a sunglassaholic and I would buy like the $5 ones from Five Below eight times a month, but then I would lose them or break them and whatever. So I just figured it was time to get a pair and I've had these for a little while. I actually got them for Christmas. Shout out to mom and dad, thank you very much. They are my favorite pair of sunglasses and I also liked them because I ended up getting the gold frame with the brown lens. Majority of people will do the gold frame with like the black lens, but I just thought they were way too harsh when I tried them on. These are my favorite sunglasses. I'll go ahead and link those below. I'll try to link what I can from what's in my bag below if you guys are interested in, in finding it for yourself or whatever. Unless I'm in a smaller purse and I can't fit them, they're in my bag somehow. Okay, so I have one, two masks. Those are masks from work. Obviously, I cannot have enough masks with me. The next thing I'm seeing in here is, does this remind you of like, what is the movie? Princess Diaries. I'm feeling flirtatious. Okay, so this, there's a story behind it. This was one of Hannah's party favors for her Sweet 16, which I filmed. Again, you should check it out because it was really cool. We did like a boho picnic. It was super cool. My dad made long wooden tables and we had like all of the gold chargers and like so many different cool pillows for them to sit on. Either way, this was a favor and this is like my little old grandma fan. I always see grandmas with an actual little fan like this and honestly have again no words for why I have this but when you need a little breeze and you can't get one because there is no breeze, you have one in your bag. So again, go ahead and check out Hannah's Sweet 16 vlog because that party came out so cute. You guys do. If you need like a little bohemian picnic inspiration, it's there. My next thing that I have in my purse is spray hand sanitizer. This is from Bath and Body Works. It is the Sun Washed Citrus scent. And recently it's one of my favorites. I'm pretty sure there's grapefruit in here somewhere. This one, if you want like a summery scent for your hand sanitizer, this is my go-to. I actually got hand soap in this as well because I loved the scent so much. The next thing that I have is dry shampoo. This is Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing dry shampoo. I got this little tester size from Target, I think, but once I got my bangs cut, I realized that me playing with my hair was like consistently making it greasy. 
really bad. So I ended up picking one of these up to have in my bag with me just in case because the rest of my hair would look fine, but then because I would be messing with my bangs or whatever, just like the top section of my head would get oily. So I ended up picking this up. You can find it at, I'm pretty sure you can find, maybe not this brand, but you can find this at the Dollar Tree. They have like a little travel section now or like Walgreens or whatever, but this is the Not Your Mother's. I will say that this does turn like super white in your hair. It's not my favorite. This is the one travel size that they had available at Target. So that's the one I ended up picking up. The next thing in here is, well, it's like really a bunch of little things. Receipts. Enough said. And then I also have from like work at work, I have like a little notebook and I'll try to take notes here and there when it's not super busy. Um, so, oh, look at this. This is a pros and cons list of Nordic track versus Peloton. And then let's see, these are like the random things that are in my bag. This says pay association fee, which I did. I did that already, but I'm pretty sure this is for last month. I did that already as well. And then also this is product photography tips. Okay, there is a straw, which seems to be from Wendy's. These are some earrings that I bought from Walmart and I wore them on Sunday to church. They're this really pretty beaded, for summer the colors in them are really beautiful to me and I am a huge fan of the big statement earrings, so yeah. I ended up throwing these in my bag after Sunday because sometimes when I buy non-hypoallergenic stuff, my ears will get really irritated and I haven't really been having an issue recently, but that pair of earrings, I had to take them off while I was out because I just couldn't handle it anymore. My ears got like really itchy and irritated. So the next thing that I have in my bag are my ear pods, which I try to take with me everywhere. Sometimes that is not the case. And sometimes you don't have them when you need them the most. So my ear pods, it is about to rain. I'm filming right next to my window and it looks like it's about to pour. So hopefully I can film this before it actually does start raining. So ear pods, next thing. I have another mask. So the next thing I have in my bag, I have a Sephora Jelly Melt Lip Gloss. This is the NYX Shine Loud in the color Ambition Statement, which I used in my mask proof makeup routine. You guys should check that out as well. And then I also have this Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil, which is really nice. This is just something to hydrate my lips and it's not as glossy as I thought it was. It's actually more sticky. So those are the three, oh, excuse me. I actually have the other NYX lip color in here as well and this is in the color life goals so I always have lipstick with me but it's silly to me because we literally wear masks 24 7 now I only wear lipstick if like I know I'm going to like dinner or something and somebody's gonna actually see my mouth so I don't know why I have so many in here but these are some of my favorites oh I take it back I have two more this is the Glossier generation G it is really kind of transparent it's more of a sheer finish which I really like that's actually what I'm wearing now but I put this cover girl melting pout vinyl vow lip gloss over top just to give it a little bit of a shine because sometimes i want like a little bit more of a glossy look this is like my go-to combo for lips right now the next thing i have in here are these really cool actually i found these at the dollar store pens or dollar tree whatever it is i don't know dollar general it's the brand ink and they're dual effects double line marker this actually writes like 3d and it's really cool to me and they came in a pack of two for a dollar which to me is not bad at all because i've been doing a lot of like my bible journaling and stuff like that and making it kind of look a little pretty inside just really enjoying the process of bible journaling i saw these and i thought these would be a really cool addition to maybe do like a title of a journaling page or something like that so i picked these up from the dollar tree and again for a dollar for two of them, they're beautiful. The next thing that I have is my lavender oil. Now this helps me a lot with every now and then I have nosebleeds, like my nose will get really dry inside and if I go to like blow my nose or like the weather changes, etc., cetera, et cetera, If you deal with bloody noses, lavender, like a rollerball lavender stick is key to getting it to stop. I've had nosebleed issues like my entire life, especially like middle school, I was having a really rough time with them 
but I didn't find out until later in life, like a few years ago, that if you put lavender oil on the side of uh, your nose, wherever it's bleeding, like wherever the nosebleed is, if you just put some on the outside, it'll literally stop it within seconds. It just stops the blood flow, which is really nice because sometimes if it happens like at work or I'm out and I literally don't have any napkins with me or like I only have access to a few and I can't really like stand there squeezing my nose for an hour to get it to stop. This actually really helps a lot and I've been really grateful. My mom's friend was the one who told me about it and honestly, shout out to you, Carol. Thank you very much for introducing me to lavender oil because it has saved me in so many occasions. So I always try to travel with this in my bag, whether it's on a car ride, whatever, like literally anywhere I go, I end up keeping this rollerball with me because it's been a lifesaver and I never honestly know when I'm gonna get a nosebleed. Like you just don't ever really know when it's gonna happen. So I keep this with me and just in case for emergencies and it saved me so many times. Okay, let's see. I have one, two, three pens in here because one is not enough, apparently. Looks like some change. Advil tablets because headaches or cramps or whatever, you just never know. So I keep a little travel package of Advil in my bag. This is another receipt. <laughs> and then these are doTERRA, doTERRA, doTERRA? I think it's doTERRA. Either way, they're peppermint beadlets and it's literally like the tiniest, tiniest little peppermint bead. And this really is not for like fresh breath or anything. It is more for like, if you have an upset stomach, I mean, it does help with the fresh breath kind of thing because it's peppermint, but like if your stomach is kind of feeling a little gross, like you're feeling a little motion sickness, stuff like that. If you're just not feeling the best, you can literally just take one of these little beads and it kind of helps to soothe an upset stomach. So I always like to keep these with me because sometimes like if I get into a car and I'm sitting in the back seat, I can get car sick and I just, I literally get nauseous so easily. My mom gave me the gift of her motion sickness, so Thanks mom, <laughs> but she also gave me the gift of these little doTERRA beadlets that kind of help ease that so <laughs> Thanks mom another receipt which is from a return so it's not even like relevant like I don't even need that there's change in this pocket I also have the liquid version of ew this is like so hairy <laughs> there's so much dust on it so I also have the liquid version of the hand sanitizer in the sun washed citrus again because we're going through still all of this crazy COVID so I always have hand sanitizer with me and apparently I always have two in my bag so you can never have enough hand sanitizer especially when it smells this good again this is the sun washed citrus scent. It's my favorite right now. Next up is my little Bluetooth remote for my phone. Now this works with iOS and Android. I'm pretty sure I just ordered this off of Amazon. It came with a tripod for my phone. So I like to keep this in my bag and I'll transfer it. If I change bags, I'll put this in there as well, just because I like to have this with me and I can always shoot or take pictures with friends or like group photos, stuff like that. So I like to have this with me wherever I go in my bag as well. This, I don't know why it's in here. I probably just took it off and threw it in my bag. This is like a wrap bracelet. Um, it has like three different designs on it. I don't honestly know why it's in here, but it has like so many different strands. I don't know if you can see if it's focusing. I probably just was wearing this one day and ended up throwing it in there after a long day. Cause sometimes I get irritated with too many bracelets, although I love to stack my bracelets. So that doesn't make any sense. This is actually my car key from RJ's key. So I have two keys to my car. One is on my keychain and one is on RJ's keychain. Originally the one that RJ now has on his keys was on mine and the clicker was working. This piece like broke off. This is like the actual key piece piece from the clicker, it broke off. So I ended up like putting it back together cause it was hanging on by like one little screw. And I was like, RJ, you take this. Cause if I keep using it, like I'm gonna lose the key part. So I took his key, which the clicker doesn't work but the key is like completely intact. So I just have to like actually unlock it. I ended up going out to my car a few days ago and I look and I see this on the ground. And I was like, RJ, you lost the key. I texted him like, look at the key from my car on your key ring. And he was like, what? And he looks and he's like, oh, I'm missing the actual key part. And I was like, yeah, I have it. So this was on the ground outside my car. Thank goodness nobody stole my car. The next thing that I have in my bag are these cutie little earrings. Oh look, this is the second pair of earrings that I have in here. This cutie little pair of earrings that my friend gave me for my birthday. It has like a cute little sunflower on top and then I think they're made out of clay. So I apologize guys, it is starting to rain. I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background, but they're just really cute. Again, I'm a big fan of a statement earring, but yeah. So those are just from a friend for my birthday and I love them so much, so. Yeah, those are in there as well. <sighs> it's literally pouring guys. I'm so sorry if you can hear that in the back like I 
trying to hurry this up. The last thing that I have in my bag is this Hemp and Peppermint Hydrating Lip Balm from Sela Skin Studio. I've talked about their products a few times before. They're in my nighttime skin routine, so you can check that out. I'll go ahead and link their website down below because they have some really good organic, all food grade products. So I will go ahead and link them down below because I love their products. And this is just a really hydrating lip balm. I always suffer with terribly cracked lips. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and check out their website. I know I'm gonna link pretty much everything that I can down below for you guys. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and link their website as well because they have some really great products. And the last thing I have have, well, the last two little things that I have are just some rings. And I also have a guitar pick in here. Don't ask me why. I think this is from when Hannah came to play guitar at my church for Mother's Day. So I have it in my bag now. That is the last thing except for some straw wrappers, which is pretty gross. Those are garbage. But yeah, so that is what was in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also I post a new video every week, so go ahead and click the bell to get notified when those go live. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in another video.